Hello there, it's Simon Hackney again and um, I hope you'll join me in painting this small wave seascape that you can see in, on the first images here. Um, it was paintings like that that ultimately led on to me painting the larger oils that you can see in the second image. Whenever I'm painting seascapes particularly, I like to get the horizon nice and straight um, because water doesn't tend to have a curve in it much when you look at it. Uh, so what I do, literally, I just get a ruler and I'll put the horizon quite low on this. So we're going to go four inches or 10 centimeters. Same there. Draw a line. Just lightly, like that. And we're going to get some masking tape and we're going to cover that up. So that when we do our sky, we've got a nice straight line to be painting to. You'll have to excuse my head bobbing in and out of the shots here. This uh, video. <laughs> video filming is all new to me. Right, let's mix some paint up and see how we go. I'm going to start with a, a fairly sizable flat brush. I'm probably doing a lot of work with that. Bit of blue mixed with the black. What I'm trying to achieve here is like a, a Prussian blue maybe. Just going to lay that on, and that is drying already. So let's give it a spray. Give it a spray. That's better. That's better. Now we can move this paint down towards the horizon, and as we go down, it should mix with the white and get lighter as we get down towards the, the tape and that's what we're looking for right okay so that's that give the brush a quick wash give it a wipe and then what I'd like to do is blend that sky so I'm going to use a bigger brush And we're going to soften the sky and blend it as we go down the canvas. I'm just going over it lightly now to give the sky some feeling, some sort of direction in which the general sky is moving and that will be enhanced when we put the clouds on which will be in a second or two. Okay, very different to oils, very different to painting with oil but let's see how we go still. We're doing all right so far, I think. Doing all right so far. So, next thing, we need some cloud colour. I think we'll go with some more of that primary blue and 
maybe a little bit of primary red and see if we can make some sort of um, lilac-y, cloudy type colour. I'm actually going to mix them with a brush and I'm going to use a fan brush. So there's the fan brush, there's the palette so far. So we've got turquoise, the blue and the black that I mixed, primary blue, primary red. And I'm just going to mix little bits of this, these two colours. Give me a lilac -y. Like so and um, see if we can do some clouds and when I paint clouds in oil I literally just get the fan brush and almost scumble them in I'm gonna give that another little spray because it's drying like really Gumball these in, that's better. Got some nice fluffy tops on them in a minute. Okay. And into that, over the top, we're just going to add a little bit of white. Just going up off the canvas maybe there, a little bit. A little bit of white. And we'll see if we can fluff those out a little bit and soften them. So let's have a, let's have a go with that. Okay, I've got a softening brush here. And I'm literally just going to touch that paint. I've got a bristle there, let's see if we can get that off. Yeah. I'm literally just going to touch the paint and soften the tops of the clouds. Blend the bottom, blend it down the canvas a little bit, I think. We've got that annoying bristle back. Get off. Off, off, get off. All right, there we go. So I just want to. <laughs> Hello, lightning. I'm just going to blend that like so, and I want to darken it a little bit. So at the bottom of that, I'm going to use some of that blue and black colour that we had earlier. Maybe a little bit more black. And again, just scrub in some general shapes. You don't have to be too particular with this. The more random, I think the better. And just soften all that as we go. It's not looking too shabby. I think we'll have a little bit of a darker sky up in the corner. Corner of the picture. So back into the some paint. Mix some colour. A little bit of black in there. Oh well, that's good. We'll have a nice dark cloud up in this corner, I think. And you can see I'm using the flat brush here. Um, I normally use a fan, but um, I, th 
think this will work as well on here. So, okay, and then we're back in with a softener just to soften these clouds, work them into the picture. And we've actually got some sort of direction, some, some movement in the sky there as well, which is nice to see. Okay. Okay, I've just worked on this sky a bit more. And um, I'm just actually dragging the, the damp paint down the canvas just to make it look as though there's some rain or something like that going on. Hope you can pick that up on there. I don't know if you can, but that's what we're trying to do. And that looks like it will do as a, a passable sky to begin with. I'm just going to wash some brushes out and then we'll do the sea. Okay, I've taken the tape off and I'm just working some of this white and retarder that I used originally up to the horizon line, which as you can see is nice and straight at the moment, but I'll probably cock that up in a minute. Maybe put a little bit of um, island or headland or something in there. Or shall we? No, we won't. We'll just go straight in with the sea. We'll go straight in. Straight in with the sea colours. So, a little bit of phthalo green, I think. Not much, but it's really strong. And we've got um, some turquoise, some phthalo green, a bit of the blue. All on the brush there. Can you see that? There, we, there, there we go. And I'm just going to literally lay this in up to the horizon. You can leave a white line up there if you wish, that's fine. And uh, put some movement, I'm just going to put some, some movement in this little U-shaped strokes. And down to the foreground on which we will put a beach of some description some sort of shoreline in a moment while that's all wet I'm just going to go back in with my softening brush and I'm going to blend that like so And it gives us a bit of movement in our water by using those strokes so it's not all flat. Yeah. Okay, that looks a bit sea-like, it's not too bad. Right, okay, that's that. Now I'm going to try to paint a wave like I do when I'm doing oils. So. I'm going to start by sketching it out and we're going to have a wave just flopping over here somewhere nothing too nothing too grand down there like that that's where it's going to roll over and it's going to trail off over there somewhere so that's going to go like that this is going to be the eye of the wave in there. And we'll have some rocks and a bit of beach or some such thing, some spray and what have you going on in a moment. If we can, if it will stay wet enough to allow me to do it. There's going to be somebody out there that can put me right on this and tell me how to keep it blooming wet. That'd be nice. Right, at the bottom of this wave, we're going to have a shadow colour, 
so I want some of the darker blue, some viridian, a little bit of black, I'm going to turn it down so it's quite dark and hopefully it will still mix with that white and we're going to have some sort of shadow colour along here like that out here somewhere right and then over the top of that we're going to paint the eye and what we're going to use for that is some white a little bit of blue turquoise maybe make a nice pale 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 blue and hopefully it will show the light coming through the wave and we just scrub that in like that and then blend it out along the wave over the top of the shadow like so now I'm going to get a brush and I'm going to blend the two together mimicking or trying to mimic the actual shape that the wave forms when it rolls over Just continue that through so I'm actually rolling the wave over with these strokes. A bit more blending, soften it up a bit, bring that up here and there so it blends a little bit so it's not just a straight line. And we'll come back into this in a minute and um, jiggle it with some white. But there you can see roughly where the shading goes and um, you always get a shallow area at the bottom and a larger area at the top with waves or at least that's how I paint it. Okay, we have a little bit of that colour here. And in a moment we'll um, bring some white into this and it should all start taking shape. I'm just going to put a bit of that dark into the sea behind it just to give a bit of motion. And literally not much, it's just a few strokes. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Right, I'm going to take a small fan brush. I'm going to mix a Movi lilac y type colour, a darker colour, a shadow colour really. Like so. Okay, give you a little look at that so you can see the colour there. And using the edge of the fan brush, I'm going to load up some paint and I'm going to actually start to brush in just with the edge of the brush a little shadow tone where the wave is going to be crushing like so 
and we're going to go back in over the top of that just with white and put some little highlights along the edge of this wave and the other side the clean side of the brush you can see that there it's got paint one side and there's a little clean edge on the bottom I'm just going to blend the white and the lilac together while they're still wet there we go okay starting to take shape now while we've still got white on the brush I'm going to reload the brush and we're going to go to the top of the, the wave here and we're going to pull it over in the direction that it's crashing just gentle strokes lifting the brush off as we go just to mimic that crashing wave there not too worried about over here because over here we're going to have a rock now I'm going to go back into the white and I'm just going to dab some more highlighting where the wave and the foam is all happening so just along the top edge just in broken pieces till we get to the edge of the canvas okay and we can have a bit of that maybe we like catching a bit of that in the way there as it's rolling around some clean water give it a shake off and just blend that out so we can see there the shape of the wave okay that's not looking too bad I don't think what do you think looks all right to me just for a quickie not too bad uh, right okay I'm gonna put a little headland or a couple of little headlands just out in the distance so use some more of that shadow color I think a bit of green maybe and just put a couple of little headlandy things right out there somewhere on that side on the other side well actually maybe an island maybe an island out here somewhere just a little bit of maybe the headland just stretches out stretches out for a few miles okay that'll do for that that was easy wasn't it little tiny piece of paint there on the edge of the knife and I'm going to try and just roll it cut it across the canvas so we've got some sort of little surf lines or something going on maybe take a fan brush I don't know if this is going to work let's see we'll take a fan brush and just pull that down just to give a bit of movement maybe some waves in the distance put it down into the white that doesn't look too shabby let's have, a, let's have another go let's put something about there maybe and again just with a dry 
fan brush while this dreaded paint is still wet. Just put it down, blend it a bit, soften it up a bit. Okay, that's not too bad. We've got some movement in the water now. Not too bad at all. It looks like the light's behind us. And um, looking over onto a, a more stormy type of sky, it's really nice. Now, I'm going to paint in when I get some brown. And I think I'll use burnt umber. Stick a bit in my palette and put some rocks or some sort of um, rocks in there, something that that wave is actually crashing against. So I think I'll use a mixture actually, I think I'll use burnt umber, burnt sienna, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and we'll have some yellow ochre as well. Got some yellow oak there. And with those colours we should be able to make some sort of rocky, beachy type things going on. But the first things first, let's um let's paint some sort of rocks in there. I'll probably use a bit of black as well, but I'm just gonna literally load the brush with some um We're going to come here and we're just going to paint in some rock there, like so, and just let the colours blend. Right, with a wet brush, I'm going to go back into this paint and I am going to drag it down the beach and we're going to have some sort of beachy thing going along the bottom here and this is just a bit of water on my brush and literally the paint coming down off this rock and that doesn't look too bad if I dip it in a little bit of yellow ochre we'll get some sandy colours going on like so Hey ho. Right, okay, I'm going to get a dry brush and we're going to blend this up into the wave. The general direction the wave's going. And this side, we're going to blend it. the bottom of the rock. So we've got sand, like sand running at the edge of the rock there. Sand dune or whatever it may be. With a bit of that wave colour we're going to bring that back down onto this sandy area. So that the two blend and you can see that the sand or beach or whatever is a bit stirred up and that's going to crash there. Okay. Now on that um, rock we're going to have some water coming down so I'm just going to go back into this paint I'm going to make a weak watery solution of white and blue and we're going to have a few bits maybe coming down off the rock Here and there, dribbling down. And I'm actually going to try 
and soften that. All right, so I'm just going to add some more foamy type highlights to this. So I want a fan brush, I want some white. Am I going to go? Okay, with the waves foaming up and hitting the rock and all that good stuff that it does. Okay, I've just added a bit more detail. Um, literally just spattered some paint around where the wave is, around where the wave's formed to um, give it a bit more highlight. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually what I'd like to do now, what I normally do with oils now, is um, I'll put some light on the beach. So I'm just going to move this forward so I can get to the edge of the canvas. I'm going to just drag very lightly some paint, only a tiny bit of paint on the brush. There, so it gives us a bit of light on the beach. I'm going to get the knife, go back into a little bit of that white, so we've got some white on the edge of the knife, and then down here on this sand. I don't know the best way to do this. Maybe if I hold it, I'm going to try and just put a little water line. Why should be coming off? bottom of the wave. A little bit more paint and come in along this rock I think. Can you see that? Trying to keep it so that the camera's on it. Maybe just another little bit coming forward, running off the edge of the canvas. Okay. And then maybe just a few little bits. Drifting about in the wave there. Staying on the beach maybe. Just get a little bit of water on a brush. We'll go back in and soften it if we can. Just like a few little things hiding away in the way back. And if we wanted to put some foamy things in the wave, we'll just get some white on that fine brush. And try to delicately lay them in. and sort of follow the, the general curve of the wave. Okay, maybe give that a little blend. There we go. And while we've got the white out, we might as well do the thing that everybody always moans about. And I don't do these very seldom unless it's a feature on my oils. But while we're at it, we'll just put a couple 
of goals up there. Maybe one there. One there. Getting blown around by the wind. And then we'll sign this one. Right, and I think we'll call that it. There are links on this video to my website. If you look down and hit the details below somewhere, you'll see them. And um, on there you'll be able to see some more um, time-lapse videos of some of the actual ocean oil paintings that I do. Um, so what do we think of this? First time out with acrylic? Well, you know. If it was the first one I'd ever done, I'd, I'd, I'd be really pleased with it, you know, if it was the first painting ever. Um, the sea is a difficult thing to paint. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, that's it for this one. See how the next one goes, eh? Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. All of my paintings are for sale. Um, the ones that I've done today included. Uh, if you take a look at my website also, you'll find a link at the end and in the description. Uh, you'll find other paintings for sale, oil paintings, etc. And you'll also find some time-lapse videos of the development and how some of the um, oil paintings, the seascapes on there, were done. Uh, I hope you have a look. hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions, please just drop me a line via email. Or um, pop a question below and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.